So I made a video on this not too long ago, AB split testing Facebook ads, but recently if you've been in Facebook Ads Manager, you've seen this, that the layout of Ads Manager has changed. And then specifically, if you go in to use the AB testing feature, the AB testing has changed how to set that up and everything. So I wanted to just do an updated video on AB split testing, how to set it up and why you should use it. So what is split testing and why should you do it? A-B testing, split testing, it's saying the exact same thing. We're, we're saying that there's an original ad and creating a duplicate of that ad going into it, changing one thing inside of it, one variable, and then comparing it to the original ad and seeing if it performed better or worse. And the idea behind all, you know, and A-B testing is something you should be constantly doing, uh, even setting up from the very beginning. And the idea is that you can find, you test you know two different things with one small variable change between them and find the small changes that lead to you having a better and better and better ad and what better is depends on what you're doing um, but for example if it's making sales through your website then you try and find all these variables that lead to more conversions happening at a better cost for you which ultimately just means that you're making more profits from these variable changes in your ads. And the variables can be things, any, any part of the ad. It can be the interest that you're targeting, the age range, the gender. It could be the text that you're writing. It could be one word that you change in the copywriting. It could be the image. It could be an image versus a video. It could be the color of a shirt in the image versus if there's, I don't know, a dude in the image wearing a colored, a purple shirt and another one he wears a white shirt, which one performs better. And the truth is, I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but all of that stuff can and probably does matter. Like it, it definitely, you could change the white shirt to a blue shirt, run that A-B test and maybe there's no difference at all. Great, like, I mean, fine, That's that can definitely happen. But it's also very possible where you change one one word in the line of in your in your headline of the text in your copy and all of a sudden it resonates so much better with people you're getting way more clicks and now people are on your website way more purchases etc so that's the whole idea behind a b testing and split testing so first thing is always you're just going to choose whichever campaign type that you want to i'm just going to choose traffic uh, just for the example here click continue and when you set up an A-B test this way, inside of when you're creating a new campaign, you can only create A-B tests at the campaign level. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do right here. To create a uh, A-B test at the ad set and ad level, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But in order to create an uh, A-B test here when setting up a campaign, like I said, it's going to be for the campaign level. So it's going to create campaigns and A-B tests the campaigns against each other so you could have a bunch of different ad sets and ads inside of the campaigns but it's not going to tell you which ad set or ad necessarily it's just going to tell you campaign against campaign which one's performing the best so right here in the a b test section just click get started and that's all it's going to have you do right here you're just going to have to finish out finish filling out the rest of the your ad set and your ad like it says continue setting up your control and you can add variants to your test after publishing so you just go through, set everything up normal. So if we just click next here, this is the ad set section. So you'd want to choose all your targeting, placements, budget, stuff like that. Click next. And I have a video on how to like set up structure, name, and target, all that. I've got full playlist. Um, so definitely make sure and check that out. And then the ad section here. Uh, so I'll throw in a link here. I'll just use YouTube as like a dummy link because that'll also populate an image over here on the preview. All right, so there's that loaded in the preview. I'm just gonna come down here and click publish. So that ad will go into review and then it'll bring you into this pop-up box right here where you can finish creating your A-B test. Now, like it says right here, it says finish setting up your A-B test by creating a variant or selecting another campaign campaign to compare against the original campaign. So again, we're, this is all uh, an A-B test at the campaign level. So right here, if you click the drop down menu, these are the different variables that you can choose. Image, um, add, you know, if you if video is what you've selected, then you can choose video, but add text, age and gender, and then saved audience if you've got custom or lookalike audiences that you want to test. And then if you want to do custom, um, if you if there's something listed right there, something else that you want to test, you can do that through using the custom option. So right here, if we just chose image, for example, um, then just click continue to experiment and it'll bring you to a different page. 
this experiment section right here and you'll see that there's version A and version B. And actually what just happened and I kind of, I mean, I get why it does this, but anyways, just so you understand what happens here, there's the original campaign that we just created, and then it created a version A, which is the control, a duplicate of the original campaign, that's the new control campaign, and then it's got the version B, which is the variant. So actually, when we're done going through creating this, we're gonna see that there's three campaigns. I'm gonna just load in an image right here so that there is, so we did change the variable there. Use this one for an example. No reasoning behind that, it's just randomly in there. And then if you wanna give the, you know, change the name and give it a certain start or end date. And then right here, the daily budget, you'll see it says daily budget split 50-50. So right here it's got, it's currently set to the conversion euros, but uh, so right now at 40, it would split 20 to uh, test A and 20 to test B. So keep that in mind. And then right here, you'll tell it what the key metric you want it to pay attention to is as far as, you know, which one's performing better, what's the metric it's going to pay attention to. You've got all that right here. You know, so if you're selling something and you're trying to see which ad leads to more conversions and a better cost per conversion, then a cost per purchase would be the key metric that you want to input there. It'll give you an estimated test power right here. I always say this about, you know, uh, Facebook's estimations, their estimations. So, you know, I would go through your own A-B testing and running things and just trial to see instead of just relying on estimations right from the start. So even if, what I'm saying with that is even if this is low, you know, still run it and see how it goes because sometimes the estimates are just off. All right, now when you're all done, just click create test. And it says this may take some time and they're not wrong about that setting these up once you click create test it does sit on the screen for a second okay and it'll leave you in this experiment section right here but if you want to get back to your ads manager just navigate to your ads manager and then you'll see right here there's the new campaign we created there's the version b and the version a so if i click into version b we'll see that that's the one that i changed the variable on click into the ad so you can see right here inside of version b that there's the variable that we changed and then to see results, you could see them here in your campaign section, or you can go back to the experiment section and look at it from there. And so now here's the best way to set up A-B test at the ad set and ad level. So click into your campaign or just navigate to whichever ad set that we'll start with. This is the same for ad set or for ads. So just make sure you're on whichever tab for ad sets or ads and, and it's the same from there. So we'll just do ad sets right here. This is the ad set that we want to create an A-B test for. So all you have to do is just click duplicate. And by the way, if you, let me X out of this. If you, yeah, if you select it right here in the box to the left and then come up here and click on AB test, it's a new AB test for your campaign. Again, that's another campaign level AB test. So you really do need to just click duplicate. And then right here under original campaign, so make sure you switch that on. And then show existing comments, reactions, and shares, probably leave that on because you want all that engagement to transfer over. If you wanted to uh, duplicate an A-B test into a completely brand new campaign, I'm not saying that you would be testing at the campaign level. I'm just create, saying create a new campaign in which you can house this A-B test that you're creating at the ad set level, house these ad sets in a new campaign. Uh, you could click right here, new campaign, and then type the new campaign name right there and do it that way. So let's just go original campaign. I'll make sure create test is on. So you just come down here, click duplicate. Okay, now that duplicate has been created and it's not doing the same thing as it did with the campaign level A-B test where it's gonna create three. There, this The original one is the one we just duplicated and that turns into the test A. And then this is the test B. So you're really just creating one duplicate. There's not going to be two new ad sets that are the split test. The original ad is going to be test A and now test B is this one right here. We need to change at least one variable in it. So let's just say we wanted to test a different age range. So I'll change this to let's do 15 to 21 and then just make sure the budget section is good to go. So right here this in this case mine isn't. So I just need to make sure that it reaches. So the original ad set that I I'm duplicating was set to 20 euros in this case and so I would want to change that if I want to but if I don't then it'll I'd have to adjust this to 10 and 10 
right? But if I want to give each ad set more, maybe 20 or 30 or whatever, then I can just click change daily budget, up the daily budget, and then it'll split that between the two tests. And so once you've changed the variable that you want to change, just come down here, click publish. And now see right here at the ad set level, we see both of those ad sets set up as tests against each other as an A-B test.